hello friends welcome to my channel in this video i'll be covering tuple data structure so you will be learning what is tuple accessing values in tuples and tuple methods so let's get started So for this video, we will be using uh, collab.research.com. So uh, it's a notebook that is used to write the Python code on the browser. So if you have a Google account, you can go to collab.research.com and then create a new notebook. So let's start with what is tuple. So uh, tuple is it's similar like a list, but we cannot modify them. So in short, they are immutable. So that's an important property of tuple. And uh, in order to create a tuple, so we need to have a bracket. So it's so it, let, let me show you. So let's say if I want to create a tuple. So it starts with this bracket. And one, two, three, four, five, five. Let's have one duplicate as well. Okay. And then if I just run this and then just have a print command type tuple one. Okay, so you can see the class is tuple. And uh, let's try to modify any value. So if I'll say tuple one, and then let's say if I go for index two, and then try to modify this to 6 so what will happen is as you can see it does not support item assignment so that is it's an immutable so now there a question comes to everyone's mind that what is the use case of this tuple so like if you have something that doesn't change then better go for tuple instead of list so people get confused where to use list where to use tuple but in short if something is not changing for an example the name of the person that doesn't change the their gender that doesn't change so go for the tuple in that case and uh, also if the order you want the value should be in the same order then always go for the tuple because that will remain always the same and it cannot be modified and one important advantage is tuple are faster than list so if you have to increase the processing then go for the tuple only in the case when you want something to be immutable so there are some caveats behind using the tuple uh, we cannot sort tuple we cannot reverse so they are less flexible okay few important things to be noted uh, as we know the dictionary keys should always be immutable that's why we cannot use list so in this specific use case we can use tuples for dictionary keys and also another thing is when we use dictionary dot items to get the values of the dictionaries so it returns values in tuple so that we will see in detail later uh, so let's do some more experiment so let's say if you want to convert these tuples into list so let's say i have a list one so let's uh all right so converting tuples into list so let's say this is list one and then so how can i do that so i just give list and then tuple name so that's tuple one and uh, let's print this out print list one and let's check the type print uh, type and then list one wonderful now let's change the value so let's say if i to say list one and do the same thing dot two equals to six and then we just print out list one 
so now the value got changed to 6 you can see at the index now let's say if you want to convert the list into tuples okay so the same thing let's say tuple 2 equals to tuple and then list 1 and then let's print type also so type tuple 2 now it's changed back to tuple okay uh, now let's cover some accessing values yeah let's cover how to access values so accessing values and tuples okay so we can access the similar way we do in the list so for an example let's say i want to it has so let's say we use the tuple 2 and i want to start with index 0 and then let's end, end at index 4 and see what it returns so you can see 1 0 1 2 3 and then 4 so what is before 4 it will return so let's say we want to step over so it is start of the index end of the index and then we have step over as well so let's say tuple 2 and then 0 and then let's go to 6 and then we say 2 so it will cover 1 and then 6 and then 5 so it will jump over and let's say we want to do it from the other reverse way so it's this let's cover all and then minus 1 so it's the other way around okay and uh, let's cover some methods so tuple doesn't have many methods uh, so the first one is basically the let's call the index i think it has two or three methods so index tuple 2 and let's say we want to access what's it index 2 so yes we get the 6 value okay uh, so and uh, let's say count so let's say we want to count how many uh, the the value in the tuple okay so let's say tuple 2 Dot count and then let's say we want to count five so two and last one is length so let's say we want to assess the length so double two dot sorry length so there are six total items in the double so uh, that's all about tuple methods it doesn't have a lot of many methods but it has a great advantage value if you want the values should be immutable and have the same order of indexing so usually go for tuples otherwise list is the better option i hope you learned something in this video so i have a small quiz for you Tuples can't be made keys of a dictionary, so you have to tell me whether it's true or false. If you know the answer, leave your answer in the comment section. And if you don't know the answer, go through this video again and you will get some hint for this question. Thanks for watching this video.